the Grim Reaper, the personification of death, a ghoulish figure of the shadows, ready to reap your soul. Welcome to History 101. The origins of the Grim Reaper date back to the 1300s in medieval Europe. Before the 1300s, death was portrayed more as friendly and even gentle. For example, the Greeks believed in Phantos, the Greek god of death. Phantos was described as a winged, bearded older man, or more rarely as a beardless youth. The Greeks saw Phantos as the bringer of peaceful death. Contrasting his sisters, the Giris, spirits of violent death. He, along with his twin brother Hypnos, the god of sleep, claimed the souls of those fated to die by the fates. This depiction of death, as you can see, is far from the menacing scythe wielding skeleton we know today. This depiction of death will be shaped during one of the most morbid events of history, the Black Death. The Black Death was a devastating plague that took the lives of tens of millions of people in Eurasia and North Africa. In Europe, roughly 4 out of 5 people that fell ill to the disease died within the next 5 days. With so many people dying, death became commonplace. With countless families suffering the loss of loved ones, soon this dark reality began to influence the art of the period. The earliest depictions of the Reaper weren't quite what he looked like today. In fact, he didn't even use his signature scythe. He was originally depicted with arrows, darts, spears, and even crossbows. Due to the influence of the agrarian society, artists would eventually depict the reaper with his scythe. They likened the reaper's harvesting of souls to that of farmers reaping their crops. Even from early on, the reaper was depicted as a skeleton. Priests refused to perform the last rites due to the contagiousness of the plague. Thus, decaying corpses lined the streets, eventually becoming skeletons. What is the Grim Reaper without his iconic black robe? The Reaper gained his black robe from the morning. Religious figures would wear black robes when conducting funerals, with those in attendance also wearing these robes. His black robe could also be attributed to the appearance of plague victims. They were covered in black boils that oozed blood and pus, with their skin becoming black and gangrenous. These two factors influence the depiction of the Reaper's robe. Lastly, the Reaper is sometimes depicted with an hourglass. The sand in the hourglass symbolizes time with our death snaring as the sand drains. Besides the relic claiming souls, skeletons were also depicted as escorting humans to their graves. For a dance macabre, more popularly known as the dance of the dead. This artistic genre depicted everyone, from kings to commoners, being escorted in lively fashion to their graves. This genre served as a way for humans to face their mortality in a more light hearted and comedic medium. With that said, this has been the history of the Grim Reaper. Thanks for watching.